Hello, my dear friend, you are welcome again. All right, so in this video, I'm going to talk about earth fault or ground fault. All right, so earth ground will be used interchangeably in this video. Before I talk about what earth fault is, I would first want to talk about what earth is or earthing in an electrical wiring. When we say earth, something is earthed or something is grounded, what does it mean? Okay, so in electrical terms, when we say ethane, ethane simply means connecting all metal parts in the wiring that are not supposed to carry current under normal circumstances to the general mass of the earth. So in simple terms, if there are any metal parts in the wiring or any metal parts of the wiring, that under normal operating circumstances, they are not supposed to carry current. Then all those metal parts must be connected to the general mass of the earth. And if that is properly done, then you can see you have effed your wiring. So basically, that is what is meant by earthing or grounding. Some of the metal parts of an electrical wiring that needs to be connected to the general mass of the earth are the metal keys of your consumer unit and then the metal boxes on which the switches and then the sockets are normally mounted then we also have metal parts like uh, the metal plates on which your air conditioners are mounted and then when you have to plug your fridge into the electrical wiring or when you have to plug your iron into the electrical circuit, or when you have to plug your rice cooker into your electrical circuit, the moment you plug in that electric cooker in the circuit, that electric cooker becomes part of the wiring. And so if that electric cooker has a metal part, that metal part must also be connected to it. So now having talked about what it is, let's look at what it fault is. So when we say earth fault, we are talking about an electrical fault that happens between a live conductor in the wiring and then the earth. Okay, there are several faults that can occur in an electrical circuit and all these faults are identified by certain terminologies. So we have a term like short circuit and then leakage current. Now, most of the time, the faults that occur in an electrical wiring are either short circuits or leakage currents. In my recent video, I used a simple circuit to illustrate how current flows to and then from the load back to the source to make an electrical appliance work. In that video, I used the double lane road analogy to explain how the current that is going to the load does not have to interfere with the current that is returning from the load. In that case, the current that is flowing through the live and then the current that is flowing back to the source through the neutral does not have to interfere in any way. All right. And please, you would have to watch that video to get a better understanding of this video. Okay. So now, in this video, instead of using a simple two-wire circuit, I'm going to use a three-wire circuit. And the wires in these circuits will be live, neutral, and then earth. So the earth wire in this circuit is not carrying current under normal circumstances. As the live carries current to the load and the neutral returns the current to the source. The earth wire is not carrying any current, but then it serves as a protective path for fault currents to flow to the general mass of the earth. So that in a case where there is a leakage, the earth wire conveys that leakage current to the general mass of the earth. Okay, so now what is an earth fault or what is a ground fault? All right, so now that the earth wire or the circuit protective conductor becomes part of the wiring, we now have live, neutral, and then earth. So, whatever fault that can occur between the live and the neutral conductors 
can also happen between the live and then the earth conductor. And also, it can also happen between the neutral and then the earth. So an earth fault is either a leakage from the live conductor to the earth conductor or a direct short circuit between the live conductor and then the earth conductor. So taking this circuit as an example, this is an electric cooker. And because it has a metal part, we need a third wire, which is earth wire as part of the live and neutral from the supply to the electric cooker. Okay, because this rice cooker is made up of metal, it could happen that under abnormal circumstances, a metal part of this rice cooker could make contact with the live part, either directly or indirectly. A direct contact between a metal part of the rice cooker and the live conductor will be called short circuit between live and air. And then an indirect contact between a metal part of the rice cooker and the live will be termed leakage. And that will be a leakage from live to air. All these two situations are all known as air faults. All right, so to this end, an earth fault is any fault that happens in an electrical circuit that has to do with the earth wire. So in an electrical circuit, anytime you experience electric shock, whenever you touch the metal parts of your electrical appliances or the metal casing of your consumer unit, then definitely that shock is as a result of an earth fault in the wiring. And there are protective measures that are used to minimize the effect of this electric shock that comes as a result of earth fault in an electrical wiring. All right, so in my next video, I'll be talking about how these protective measures help to minimize the effect of fault in an electrical wiring. And in that video, I'll be talking about the type of protective devices that should be used to protect effectively against certain faults. And that will help to resolve a concern that is raised by one of my good friends, um, that is Daniel Te Huagu. And his concern is that in one of my videos, I made mention that a leakage current can cause an MCB to break. And so his concern is that he said, please, I thought MCB does two works, short circuit fault and overcurrent protection. I don't know of earth. All right, so here he means to say, I don't know of earth leakage because I know the earth fault is for RCB. All right, so I'll be addressing this concern in my next video. Please, if you have learned something beneficial from this video, don't keep it to yourself alone. Share with others to also benefit. And if you have not yet subscribed, kindly do so because I'll be making a lot of videos that will be very beneficial to you. Thank you very much and see you in my next video.